Hey all, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Trezor Model T. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. So with the recording of this video, I'm enjoying this Apothic cab. You know, enjoying would be, you know, a little bit of an overstep. Um, it is the Cabernet Sauvignon. It says it's smooth and full bodied, but I, if you can see right there, um, I disagree on the full bodied part. It is smooth, has um, some, you know, plum flavors as well as chocolate hints, but um, I would say overall it is definitely not full bodied. It is not as good as the Apothic Dark. Um, but, anyways, go ahead and give this a try next time you are out looking for wine. And back to the video. Right, and first things first, if you haven't downloaded the suite in order to interact with your Trezor, Go ahead and come up here to come to their website, I should say, trezor.io, where I'm at right now. Go ahead and click on Suite, and then you're gonna get the particular app based on whatever platform you're on. So, if, like myself, I'm on Mac, although you click on Get the Desktop App, but you can also do Windows and Linux, okay, as well for options. I just wanted to show that to you guys here just to make sure you have that downloaded. I already do for myself. And one other thing here, I'm not gonna dwell on this, but if you're curious which crypto assets are supported by Trezor, I have had people all the time ask me on my, my different videos, well, is this particular asset you know supported or I'm angry at Trezor because they don't support this crypto. Come right here, you can click on whatever you want. So like I had Ada here, so let's do that there. There we go. And it says uh, right here, Trezor Model T. It is within the suite, so we're good there. Um, let's do another one. Let's think of, well, let's ETH. ETH is a big one right now with the merge coming up. So, this, you know, both of them, the Trezor One and Model T, you can do within the suite, okay? Tether, no wallet yet. So it just gives you a quick insight onto what uh, cryptos are supported within uh, their particular hardware wallet, okay? So just make sure before you buy one, just go on their website, make sure the crypto assets that you are trying to protect on your hardware wallet, that they're actually supported within Trezor, okay? So do that first. Now, we already have the suite downloaded. You've gone through the steps to get it uploaded on your computer. Let's go ahead and pull up the Trezor suite here. All right. And I'm, I'm doing this before I'm plugging it in, okay? So just pull up the suite here, okay? And then, oh, hey, version 22.8.2 .2 has been released. And it lets you know the different improvements, new features. Let's do start update, okay? So we're updating the software here for our tra Trezor suite. I like to say Trezor, I don't know why I do that. All right, and there we go. Would you like to install the update now? Yes, restart and update. All right, and you can see it's now letting me know that it installed successfully. So it says connect your Trezor, all right? So let's go ahead and plug it in here. Snaps in place. You're gonna see it come on. So it's not connected. Tap to connect. There we go, and enter your pin. I'm gonna enter my pin. Verifying pin. You know, it's a little hard to see that, it was so small. I got a short cable here, so forgive me if I can't get it too close. Ah, I can get it close enough. All right, so it shows me right there. All right, and here's what it's doing. It is now syncing with the blockchain to make sure that there are I haven't done any other uh, transactions and make sure it's up to, up to date. And it's saying here at the very top here, if you can see on the banner, new Trezor firmware is available. Please update your device. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do update now. Firmware installation. So we're going from 2.4.3 to 2.5.2, okay? Install firmware. Yours may be a little different, that's okay, but as long as you're updating to the most recent one, and please, before you do anything here on any of your Trezor products, make sure that you're downloading the app, desktop app, from their website. Don't get it from some link in your email, don't get it from some other shady website that looks like Trezor, do it from their website, okay? You can get hacked if you download it from somewhere else and they ask you to put in your 24 keyword seed phrase and that's how they steal your crypto. So make sure that you download from the proper website, okay? So security checkpoint, do you have your seed? Yes, I do. Boom, continue. Reconnect your Trezor in bootloader mode. So this is key. I see some people have issues with this, but let's do it ourselves and make sure we do it correctly, okay? So step one is disconnect your Trezor. All right, and then swipe your, step two is swipe your finger 
across this touchscreen wall connecting the cable. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect. There we go. Plug it in here, swipe up and down, bootloader mode, there you go. Um, I will say this, if this happens to you, the first time I did this, I cut it out of the video, um, but it went right back to my pin, enter my pin, and I didn't wanna do that, um, and so I unplugged it, plugged it back in. This is the second time you're seeing me record this, so I'm in bootloader mode right there. Connect to host, yes, click that green check mark, okay? Let me see if we show it here. So, device is now ready, you can see it on the desktop, install firmware. Okay, update firmware by Satoshi Labs to version 2.5.2, .2. yes, green check mark. It's installing the firmware. There you guys can see right there. All right, you can see it's almost done here, so let's see what it does once it's finished. Okay, done restarting in one second. There we go. All right, and tap to connect, tap. Then it asks for that pin again there. So you can see it got to put in your four digit pin, push the green check mark. There we go. And we are now in, it says please wait. Great, close down here on the desktop. And now it will start updating appropriately. So we're good in here on the Model T. There we go, update my transactions. Let's go to accounts. You can see the different accounts. I have Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can add more here if you want. Activate more coins if I wanted to. I could add on Doge, Cardano, Litecoin, things like that. And if you're ever curious if you need to update anything on your firmware or your software, just come on over here to the gear icon. So once you're in the device tab, come on down to firmware. You can see that I have 2.5.2, that is the most current. If you're just curious, you wanna check, just to make sure, click on up to date. You can see, okay, I've got the current version here as the new version. We're good there, I can click install firmware if I want to reinstall it. But you know that your Model T is updated appropriately like it should. And that is it, that is how you update your Trezor Model T. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment in the section down below. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have of like, hey, bootloader mode isn't working for you. I've had that happen before. I've helped people out in the past. But yeah, comment below. Or if you found things that have been more helpful for you, let me know. I'd be more than happy to, to inter interact with you. So anyways, guys, as always, until next time, I'll see you when I see you.